I'm on my way to Studio City. I'm anxious to get over to Banning Violins to find out if I found the Holy Grail or not. They're probably the best violin appraisal place in the country. I've been digging through dirty storage units for 25 years. I hope this is the payoff. Yeah, hi, how are you? Eric, David Hester, man. This is the one that I called you about. I've been uh, buying storage units for 25 years, and I'm hoping that I have the uh, holy grail here, that I've got the best of the best. Yeah, actually, when you called, you mentioned you had a Stratton just so happens to be we do have a Strat in the shop right now, so I'll get it for you and we can take a look at it and see. Maybe we'll compare these. Fantastic. I can't wait to see how my violin compares to the Stradivarius that they have in their shop. Yes, Antonio Stradivarius is the most famous violin maker in history. Uh, this violin dates from 1702 and uh, made literally maybe a couple thousand of beautiful, beautiful concert quality instruments. He was the pinnacle of violin making, but well, this mine, is one of mine his Mine looks very similar to this, and I see that there's a label in here also, like mine has a label similar to that. Just take a look at what I okay, got here, because I'm look. about ready to pee my pants here. <laughs> this could be the biggest lick of my career. This violin could be worth millions. Let's see what you've got here. All right, well, you have a child-size violin. Okay. You don't have a full-size violin. This was made as a student instrument. It will always be a student instrument, and it will always be sort of on the inexpensive range. OK. You're not the bearer of good news here, but um, I don't often find violins that say Stradivarius. I do believe that you're a professional. And just to kind of appease my curiosity, you think maybe we can get your father's opinion on sure, this? Sure, sure, I'd be happy to. OK. Yeah, let's, let's show it to him. I would never second guess an expert like this, but we're talking about millions of dollars. I have to be sure. Hi. My father, Hans. My pleasure, David Hester. Nice to meet you. So he's looking at this violin today, and it has a Stradivarius label on it. And I'm just kind of giving a second opinion here. Well, it's really quite simple. It's made in Czechoslovakia between the First and Second World War. And what is the value and um, the condition that it's in? If it was fixed up, you could probably sell it for around three, four hundred dollars. Three, four hundred dollars. But it would probably cost you almost half that much to set it up in playing condition. So the reality of it, it's probably worth a hundred to two hundred dollars in the condition that it's in right now. Closer to a hundred. Closer to a hundred. I was uh, hoping that uh, this was going to put me into retirement, but uh, all I've got is the tired part and not the retired part. <laughs> Keep your day job. Keep my day job. Thank you so much. Thank you. 